keep driven back. His men dispersed, and now is York in arms to second him. Go, Exeter, and meet with him, and ask him what's the reason for these arms. But mark ye, be not too rough in terms, for he is fierce and cannot brook our language. I will, my lord, and doubt not so to deal as all things shall be done.
one day the soldiers' heads, and then I will. I am Richard Plantagenet.
that doth oft make women proud. But God, he knows thy share thereof is small. Tis virtue that doth make the most admired. The contrary doth make thee wondered at. Tis government that makes them seem divine. The want thereof makes thee abominable. O oh, tigerous heart, wrapped in a woman's hide. How couldst thou drain the lifeblood of the child to bid the father wipe his eyes the whole? Yet they seem to bear a woman's face. Women are soft, mild, pitiful, and flexible. Thou, stern, obdurate, flinty, rough, remorseless, didst thou be rage? Why now thou hast thy wish? Wouldst thou be weak? Why now thou hast thy will? These tears are my sweet butler's obsequies. And every tear cries vengeance for his death against thee, fell Clifford, and thee, false Frenchwoman. Beshrew me, but this passion moves me so that hardly can I check my eyes with tears. The face of his, the hungry cannibals would not have touched, would not have stained with blood. But you are more inhuman, more inexorable, oh, ten times more than tigers of Mercadia. See with this queen, a hapless father's tears. This cloth thou didst in blood of my sweet boy, and I with tears to wash the blood away. Keep thou napkin and go. Boast of this. There take the crown, and with the crown my curse. And in thy need such comfort come to thee, as now I weep at thy too cruel hand. Had he been slaughtered unto all my kin, I could not for my life but weep with him. What? Weeping right, my lord of Exeter. Think but upon the wrong he did us all, and that we're quickly dry thy melting tears. Yes, for my oath. Each one already blazing by our needs, 
should notwithstanding join our lights together and overshine the earth as this the world. Whate'er it bodes, henceforward will I bear upon my tide three fair shining suns. Nay, bear three daughters. By your leave I speak if you love the breeder better than the maid. <laughs> Cap for joy, shall for thy fault make forfeit of his head. And clever 
No, then. My suit is an end. 
my soul's desire and need, a lust from Edward's title Mary and his Clarence, Henry and his son young Edward, and all the unlooked for issues of their bodies to take their rooms ere I can plant myself. Why, that's a cold premeditation for my purpose, huh? Why then I do but dream on sovereignty, like one that stands upon a promontory and spies a far off shore where he would tread, wishing his foot were equal with his eye, and chides the sea that sunders him from thence. My eyes too quick, my heart all weans too much. Unless my hand and strength could equal them. Hmm? <laughs> well, say there is no kingdom then for Richard.
wife for Edward. If this news be true for Queen and son, your labor is but lost. For Warwick is a subtle orator. And Lewis, a prince soon won with moving words. Say.
sure of what sorrow can befall thee, so long as Edward is thy constant friend. I hear, yet say not much, but think the more. Now, messenger, what letters or what news from France? What answer makes King Lewis to our suit? And I depart, these were his very words. Go tell Paul Edward, thy supposed king, that Lewis of France is sending a master to revel with the man his new bride. But what said Warwick to our news? Before it sent me to majesty and all the rest, discharged me with these words. Tell me from me that he hath done me wrong, and therefore I will the proud of Eric be long. Ha! Ah, durst the traitor breathe not so proud words? Well, I will arm me being thus forewarned. They shall have wars and pay for their presumption. Say, say, it's, it's, friend, it's former friends with Margaret. Aye, good, my lord. They are so linked in friendship that the young Prince Edward marries Warwick's daughter. Malice overthrow my state, my mind. 
exceeds the compass of her will. And for his mind, be Edward England's king. Thank you. 
king of death hath Roscius now to act. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. The thief doth fear each bush and officer. Okay. 
Excellency nephew, brother, spoke. The duty that I owe to your majesty, I seal upon the lips of this sweet babe. Thanks, noble Clarence. Worthy brother, thanks. And as I love the tree from whence thou sprangst, oh, witness the loving kiss I give the fruit. Now am I seated as my soul delights, having my country's peace and brother's loves. What will your grace have done with Margaret? Oh, away with her, and waft her hence to France. <laughs> And now what rests, but that we spend the time with stately triumphs, mirthful comic shows, such as befits the pleasure of the court. Sound drums and trumpets. Farewell, Sauron. 